Welcome to this module of the Simulation Video Lab series. In this module, we're going to talk about user-defined statistics and how to implement them in Simio. Uh, user-defined statistics are particularly important when the uh, output metrics that we are interested in are not automatically built in into the software package, and in this case, Simio. So what we need is basically uh, code the uh, logic to collect uh, statistics that are not uh, automatically collected by, by the software. So as for the objectives for the lab, we're going to uh, provide a very brief introduction into different types of performance metrics in terms of how they are calculated. And we will also learn how to implement user-defined statistics in Simio. And Particularly, we're going to look at tally statistics, state statistics, and output statistics. So let's go ahead and uh, start talking about our uh, problem here. So the problem that we're going to uh, consider in this, or the model that we're going to consider in this lab, is a simple queuing model that we have seen before. Uh, so we have this uh, queuing network, and you can see the uh, data for the problem that are given in the table, and you will see the routing logic, uh, the routing probabilities, and the arrival rates uh, on, the, on the figure as well. Uh, so we're assuming that arrivals are all Poisson, and uh, we have exponentially distributed service times, and uh, all the rates are given in parts per hour. However, we are going to also assume that parts that are processed more than two times on station D, as you can see, we have this um, reentrant flow that goes from station D back to station B. So some parts will be processed multiple times on station D. And our assumption here is that parts that are processed more than two times on station D are considered to be of low quality. So these parts will be sold at a scrap price that is lower than the unit production cost. So we're basically uh, facing uh, monetary loss because of uh, selling these units at a lower price uh, than the unit production cost. And we're going to assume that the loss per uh, scrapped part, uh, the amount of loss is different based on the part type. So for part one, uh, we have a $25 loss per scrapped part and for part two we have a $30 loss per uh, scrapped part. So let's go ahead and talk about the performance metrics that we're interested uh, to uh, evaluate in this in this lab. But before we do this I would like to talk about two different types of performance metrics and how we calculate them. So we have uh, discrete time or discrete parameters that are observational statistics. So for these statistics, we collect observations, individual observations uh, of the parameter. And then we simply use the arithmetic average to, uh, to estimate our parameter. These statistics are implemented in Simio using uh, tally statistics. On the other hand, we have time persistent statistics or time dependent statistics uh, where uh, not only we are interested in the value of the parameter but we're also uh, interested in tracking how this value changes over time. So uh, this time we cannot simply use an arithmetic average but instead we need a time average to, uh, to account for the duration of time that the value, uh, that the parameter ha uh, had a, s a specific value. So uh, these statistics are implemented in Simio uh, using state statistics and we will see shortly how, how it's done. So again, uh, user-defined statistics are important when uh, the performance measure that we're or performance measures that we're interested to uh, to evaluate are not automatically uh, collected and reported uh, by by the software package. So we will see four examples of of these uh, types of performance metrics, and you guys will work on a, a couple of more uh, in the assignments for this lab. 
So in this lab, we are interested in the total number in system. That is the number in system over all uh, part types. We know that Simio reports the, time, uh, the number, number in system per part type. So for part uh, 1 and part 2, um, Simio reports uh, the number in system per part type. However, here we would like to know the overall number in system for all part types. Now, the second metric that we're interested in is the average time that an entity spends from its arrival into station B until it leaves station D. So we're in, interested in, uh, in the time that entities um, spend in this particular, particular uh, subsystem of our, uh, of our model. Again, this is not something that is automatically reported by Simio. Uh, the third metric is the number of parts of type 1 in the queue for station D. Again, Simio ha has this built-in statistic that reports the number in queue, uh, regardless of the type, for, for every server object instance. However, this time we're, we would like to know the number of uh, the number in queue. However, we only want to focus on um, a particular uh, part type. And finally, uh, we would like to estimate the total loss due to selling at uh, at the scrap price. So here is the initial model of our queuing network. And as you can see in this model, we have two part types. We have uh, part one and part two. We have source one that creates part one according to its um, arrival uh, process. And the second source that uh, generates part two uh, with the specified uh, inter-arrival time. We have our five uh, server objects and uh, we have implemented our uh, routing logic using or probabilistic routing using the uh, selection weights on our link. So we have 25% um, of parts going from A to B, 75% uh, to C and similarly we have the uh, probability of 0.3 of uh, going back to station B after being processed in D. So uh, with the initial model, let's go ahead and um, implement the logic for our user-defined statistics. So let's start with our first uh, statistic or metric, which is the total number in system. And when you really think about this statistic, it's a state statistic. Because what we need to track is the number of parts, regardless of its type, of their type, um, in the system, in the whole system, um, over time that requires a time average uh, in order for us to be able to estimate its, its value.